Brixton zero two to all radios, and this is a radio check over. We get different days really. There was a day I spent three hours holding a customer's hand. She went into a panic attack, and as soon as I held her hand, she would not let go of my hand. Three hours, and I was like, wow. <laughs> Different days. You must have so many stories like yes, this. Yes. Yes. That's amazing. Yes. Now I can't wait to retire. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Aliza Nisenbaum, and I'm based in New York. Before that, I was in Chicago, and I was born in Mexico City. I've been in residence here in Brixton for like uh, two months and a half now. I arrived in December, mid-December. Now it's almost spring. You know, it's the end of fall. It's been so interesting to work within the station itself. My studio is located in Brixton Station, which is like the hub where all of the Victoria line is operated from. For the past like seven years or so, I've been painting portraits of people who I meet either through teaching or working in particular community centers and mostly thinking about my painting practice as a way of documenting a particular community or um, family that I've worked with over an extended period of time. We sent out an email for anyone along the Victoria Line who wanted to participate in this project and just asked them why. And we got back all kinds of fascinating answers about mentorship, people who were teachers, who were interested in the arts, who wanted to bring their families to see themselves represented in the station where they work. They came first for like a sitting um, where I posed them together. Like we did various different configurations just to see who was friends with each other, or how they wanted to be depicted and uh, and so so this group wanted to be depicted together and then you know I sketched it out just to get a sense of where everyone should sit and then they always come and sit for me for anything from three to five hours. This is a practice that has been done for thousands of years, like people sitting for a painting from life. And I feel like that provides a very kind of intimate exchange between the artist and the sitter. And I'm really interested in the conversations and the kind of space that comes out of that. Every time I, I paint a portrait, it feels like I'm relearning it, you know, and because it's like so complex to be sitting with somebody. And, and how do you trans, it's like a, kind of like high order, how to translate their face and their skin and some, somehow their character into a painting. And I just get really fixated in the small passages of uh, like different tones of skin, you know, and, and thinking about like the temperature of different parts of the, of the face, basically. And sometimes when I'm painting somebody, they'll be looking at themselves being painted and they'll, they'll be like, my, my face doesn't look like a patchwork like that, you know? And then usually I put the eyes in or the mouth at the end and then they're like, ah, okay, that does look a lot like me. And, and, and oftentimes they're happy, but at the beginning, there's a kind of questioning of whether they'll be satisfied with the result. But it's really fun to have them be the first witness. How was the experience? Lovely, lovely. How do you feel? Like a member of the royal family. Oh, <laughs> that's so nice. Being painted. Well, it's been a nice experience. Thank you so much yeah, for doing this. It's been lovely working with you. It was really fun painting you. <laughs> I loved all your anecdotes. So you are still going to be working here? I'll be here for a month and a half. Ah, okay, still. all right. I'll be popping up since. <laughs> Please come <laughs> to by. see how it's going. <laughs> This evening, all the sitters are going to see the finished painting for the first time. So I'm so excited to hear, to see their responses. I hope I changed the tights on one of the women. I made them purple rather than black, so I hope she's okay with that. <laughs> but uh, uh, this will be the unveiling party, which happens often with my work, where the first viewers are, you know, the, the opening is for the sitters initially. <laughs> So good. Like, you can actually pick everyone out. It's really, really good. My family are all from Brixton, so I thought it would be quite fun and my friends to come through Brixton Tube and think, is that, is that her or? No, it is. 
oh my god, for six months she's going to be looking down at us coming into the station. It's beautiful, it's really great, and I like the idea that it looks as if we did it on the platform. You know, that's fantastic. When I first did mine, you know, because before she finished, she hadn't completed everything yet, so I was like, okay, what's it going to look like, you know? Yes, but I think it's, it's wonderful, I can't wait to see it out there. The painting has been photographed and then printed on a vinyl, which has then been inserted on a massive kind of nine metre wall at Brixton Station. I think they just put it up yesterday at 4 a.m. I remember coming in here and painting till 4 a.m. when the whole station was closed, so it's amazing to see it finally printed. It's vibrant, it's bright, it's great, and it's like a lot of the time underground staff, don't, people don't notice them, and now they've got, bang, top of Brixton, there's your staff, that's what we're doing. And I love the colours and the different poses and people's expressions and, and even the uniform, we've got it all there, you know, yeah. The whole composition is kind of your temporal experience of as you walk to the subway, you know, the mine, the gap, yellow line, and then the grey marbled floor that you, when you enter the Victoria line. And then there's a selfie of myself in the mirror in one of those convex mirrors. I've never been part of something this big before, so like to be part of TFL like this is nice. It's like a family, you know, like a family portrait up there, so that's what we're like. Beautiful, beautiful, I, I'm so proud. I'm so proud, and she has done a very beautiful work. It just shows the diversity in the workforce in Brixton and on the underground, and it shows that we take pride in what we do, and we are really proud to you know, come out and let everybody see us as representing the face of TFL.